Hey guys, welcome back to Project Bodybuilding. We are days out from the Mr. Olympia, so I'm just wrapping up a few more comparisons I want to do in order to try to help my own predictions list. We all know that Nick Walker was defeated earlier this year by the best Samson data we've seen yet. However, there was this idea thrown around by the fans at the time and by Nick Walker himself that if he had tweaked his prep and his peak and went for a different package, more like his Olympia look, then he might have prevailed over Samson at the Arnold. And honestly, I think there's some weight to that. Nick at the Arnold was smaller and less full. He was still freaky, but he didn't have that 11 out of 10 mutant freakiness that we saw on the 2022 Olympia stage. I think even with the package Nick did end up bringing to the Arnold, it was close. I know it doesn't seem like Sam's perfect score reflects that, but I know a lot of people on the ground, a lot of fans had Nick winning or just getting beat narrowly by Samson. So what if we did get that Olympia version of Nick? Like I said, I'm making my own predictions video very soon and I have Samson and Nick neck and neck currently, and this question has been running through my mind. Nick says he's going to bring something more akin to his last Olympia package to this year's Olympia stage instead of something more like his Arnold package. So let's run the scenario to get an idea of what might have happened and maybe we can get a slight glimpse into the future if Nick Walker keeps trying to up the ante on the freak factor. Let's just jump right into this comparison. I want to keep this brief and not too detailed on this one because we are jumping through a lot of hoops and what ifs for this video. Again, this really is just for me and my predictions video, but I decided to make a quick video out of this to give you guys my thoughts. If you guys like these comparisons, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to day on all my future comparisons. Starting, of course, with the front double, we have good poses for each gentleman. Nick Walker has been hitting it two ways recently, so I included both, but first, let's start with Samson. Structurally, he's winning hands down. He's winning the silhouette department, as I like to call it. His waist is smaller, and his quads have way more sweep, so he does have a better X-frame than Nick easily. Nick claps back with an easy win in the arms, however. Honestly, I don't see too many people talk about this, but I really want to see Samson's arms come up. They don't need it as desperately as his back, but I think in this pose, better arms would help him seal the deal over a lot of other competitors. Samson leaves the door open a little bit, he can easily beat people on his outline, but better arms could help him prevail over guys that have pretty good outlines, but better arms. Anyway, Nick Walker wins the arms like I said, but Samson's winning the outline. I honestly don't know which version is better for Nick. I will say I don't like the one on the far right. Sure, it showcases how much of a juggernaut Nick is when it comes to muscularity, but when he crunches down, I think he looks too thick. Honestly, he looks like a toad. So I prefer the left version, even though it may be a little underwhelming, but I think that works to Nick's advantage. Nick's front shots aren't the greatest and you kind of expect that when he poses, but when he whips out a pose like this one on the left, I feel that this version doesn't have an extremely high or low point. He doesn't have the commanding structure of Samson, but it doesn't look like a toad in the left photo version either. And I think that low key element benefits him. Honestly, I think the left version does enough in the outline. He's not beating Samson, don't get me wrong, but I think the outline is enough with superior condition, muscularity, and of course the arms to win this pose. This will probably be the most controversial decision in this comparison, but this is the open class. Nick's outline is good enough but he's got the muscle and the arms. Samson has the X-frame, but his arms are fairly weak and he doesn't bring as much muscle in the pose. If aesthetics are your end-all be-all, I see your argument for Samson, but just keep in mind that this is one component of open division judging, and I think Nick wins more components like muscularity and condition. This next post is uncontested. Sorry, Nick, but your front lat spread is quite literally one of the worst I've ever seen. Samson is way too wide and brings such a tremendous X frame, he's beating most other competitors anyway, even when they don't have a poor pose. Samson wins the front lat by default. Samson has the best chest in bodybuilding right now, but I think Nick is sporting way more muscle overall pound for pound and looks to be carved out of granite. It's poses like this one that urged me to redo the Arnold battle, but with the Olympia version of Nick. I think Samson did prevail at the Arnold with this pose, but now that Nick looks like this and is just bursting full and freaky, I think I may change my tune. I really just have to break this one down body part for body part. Starting with the upper bodies, I think Nick wins every single area except the pecs. He's even sporting more width and thickness shoulder to shoulder than the much larger Samson. Nick's shorter, yes, but pound for pound, he's more muscular. And Samson has done a lot to catch up though in a very short amount of time. I just don't think he's quite there yet. Nick is sporting harder, denser, and just overall more muscle in the delt and arm. He can't outdo Samson in the pecs though. I'd like to see a little more detail from Samson in the future to be fair. That would really be the icing on this cake, but Nick's pecs just don't have the overall overstuffed pillows look that Samson's do. But I would say he's at least pretty close in detail. Nick's pecs are respectable in size. At the Arnold, he was too flat in this area, but here I'm no 
no longer saying they're a major weak point. They're still on a strong point, sure, but they're still a decent set of pecs. Heading downstairs, I think Nick cleans up here too. He's got more hamstring drop, strided glutes, and some gnarly separation between ham and quad. Really, his whole leg is much drier and harder than Samson's. Samson's separation is good here. He's got clear glute, ham, and quad separation, but Nick is on another level. And Nick's quads are so full here, he's limiting the victory Samson would try to get an overall size in the side leg as a whole, especially the quad. Nick's quad is literally just jumping off the bone. That leaves us with a bit of a dilemma. I have Nick winning everything but the pecs. So does Samson win this post because he wins the most important area, even though Nick is carrying more muscle and has that graininess? Honestly, I think so. I was really going back and forth on this one. Anyone can win. I think Nick wins if you just look at him by himself. But we've seen this at the Arnold. Once Samson stands next to Nick, Nick's extra muscularity kind of gets thrown out the window because Samson carries a lot of mass while being several inches taller and is just so much bigger structurally. I think the overall size discrepancy between these guys on the same stage will be pretty apparent. And with Samson having the best pecs, I think Samson edges Nick out on this one. I can't fault you though if you had Nick slightly ahead. The rear double is a pose that was always in Nick's column, at the Olympia and at the Arnold. His back is too thick and too detailed for Samson to deal with. The arms and shoulders are also much bigger, peakier, and drier. Nick even beats him in the lower body soundly. Nick has the best hamstrings in the world right now. They're so thick and he's so much more conditioned. That helps him there and in the glutes. This is Samson's weakest pose and the back is his weakest body part. He keeps improving at every show, but he's going to need a lot more time, probably years to get on this level of development that Nick Walker is bringing. The rear lat spread is way better for Samson. He turns this around and actually takes the pose. He can think his superior structure. He's just wider than Nick to begin with. All Samson had to do was to fill out that back at least a little, and that he did. For what it's worth, I do think Samson's lower body looks a little better here as well. He's squatting down more, and while his hamstrings were never going to beat Nick's, he looks okay there, but I especially like his quad sweeps from this rear angle. The way he's hitting this makes his quads look huge even from behind. To be clear, Nick still does win the lower body, but I like Samson's overall look here. Some may have Nick winning the pose with that win on the lower body and the superior thickness in the lats, and yeah, I can understand that. Nick doesn't look that bad, but for the rear lat spread, I always weigh the width more, so I gotta go with Samson on this one. The second side shot is just as close as the first one. I think Samson has a little more thickness from the side again. I think those pecs are huge. He's never going to look flat from the side because even when he's not flexing them, they're still just jutting out. I do like Nick's midsection more surprisingly. The midsection as a whole is tighter and his abs are just flat out better than Samson's. Going downstairs, it's really the same story as the last time we saw their side leg. I think Nick wins with quality. He's harder and more developed in the hamstrings and such, but Samson does narrow that margin of victory just slightly because he's so big and brings in a big side quad. Saving the best area for last, I think Nick wins the arm as a whole, including the tricep. I don't think this is a huge win because Samson has a lot of size on his tricep. However, Nick has a ton of size too, but it's more defined. Samson's tricep looks a little watery. So does Samson win the second side shot? I think this one is actually narrowly Nick's. I'll say the same thing I said I did in the side chest. When these two guys are on stage, the size difference may be enough to sway this to Samson. However, unlike the side chest where size separates you from the pack, I think conditioning helps you more in the side tricep, mainly because the abs and midsection are a bigger focus. And like I said, that's Nick's area on this pose. Samson's abs are underwhelming and his stomach looks a little distended in the lower portion. If these two guys are head to head in the side shot, the added polish and conditioning will give Nick the slight edge and draw more eyes to him. I think that's fair. Each guy wins a side shot. This pose is one where Nick looked better at the Arnold. Like I said, he was leaner, a little less full at the Arnold, but that hurts him in some poses, not the abs and thighs. I'll be the first to defend Nick's abs and thighs. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be, but he's not wowing me here with this version as much as other versions, and that includes the 2023 Arnold version. Samson is twisting to the side, which is something I don't like to see too much of in open, but I still prefer it over a vacuum or something like that. At least he has something to show off. His abs look a lot better here than from the front, and he has some pretty good oblique detail. I'm not thrilled with his quads here. Yes, they're huge, but even when he's flexing the front one hard, he's hardly showing any separation. I'm going to reiterate what everyone thinks. Samson needs to get peeled for this Olympia. The little details where he is not showing separation here or holding water there, those types of things will make a difference in a competitive top five. I'm of course going to give him this one over Nick, however. Nick has no upper body taper and looks way too blocky because of it. Samson's shot isn't necessarily blowing me away, but it surely gets the job done against Nick.
Nick Walker closes out this comparison with arguably his best pose, the most muscular. I think he won it then at the Olympia and the Arnold, and I think he wins it now. It's very simply because he is more muscular than Samson. This is a little closer than I expected, however. Samson isn't nipping at Nick's heels exactly, but he's got some good things going for him. Samson is huge, maybe not pound for pound as muscular as Nick, but structurally he's huge, but he's filling out a few key areas of the pose. There are some gaps like the arms and shoulders, I'd like to see those fill out some more, but with his huge pecs and quads, he's got a solid foundation for this pose. But when you look at Nick, you can't say he has any gaps. Everything on him is developed, and while Samson may be more developed in one or two areas, like the quad, for example, Nick is head to toe more developed than Samson as a whole. Like I said, though, if Samson can fill in some of those small gaps, this is going to be a terrific pose for him. All right, here are the final scores. Nick ended up winning four poses and so did Samson. I'm going to do some quick tie breaking here though. Samson is going to place higher at the Olympia. I think Nick won this comparison. In fact, I think he even deserved the Arnold with that Arnold version that he brought. But I think the judges will see this differently. Here are my personal thoughts at least. Nick won the front double. I reluctantly gave Samson the side chest really just because I know how the judges are going to see it on stage. We already kind of saw it at the Arnold. Anyway, I could have given Nick the side chest. He arguably objectively won. Honestly, take the front double from Nick and give it to Samson for the aesthetics, but swap it out with a side chest and you either stay the same or end up with Nick plus one in poses. The back poses honestly could have been both given to Nick. At bare minimum, he's winning one. The absent thighs could have been won by Nick if he had more taper, but what's the likelihood of that happening? Not too high, especially if he's planning on bringing that freak factor again. So still keep the absent thighs in Samson's column, but consequently give Nick the most muscular if we're planning on him leaning into his mutant nickname. With all that taken into consideration, clearly I think Nick wins. This win comes from my judging criteria. I consider shape, muscularity, and condition all equally when judging the open division. Simpson had one overall component, shape, over Nick, but Nick had the other two, condition and muscularity in his column. However, Samson, because he is so big, he does narrow that margin of victory, but Nick is still pound for pound more developed. Now, this is where I'd say this is the open. All these components are judged equally, so Nick should be the winner of the comparison and should be placing higher at the Olympia. However, I think the thought process the judges are going with is a little bit different. I believe in their eyes, shape leads the way out of all three of these categories, and if minimum requirements are met in condition and in muscularity, then even if another athlete wins in the other two areas, the judges will give it to a guy with great shape and average conditioning and size. I'm not saying that's wrong. I love the whole master class thing. However, I don't personally agree with this judging criteria, but we may start to see more of it. The bubble gut era is well behind us and a lot more competitors are bringing great packages with a huge emphasis on aesthetics, so the judges have more mass with class guys to choose from. With all that said, I do believe Samson will prevail at the Olympia. What gives me a little hope for Nick Walker though is a phrase I like to throw around from time to time, and that is, the judges judge what's in front of them. This basically means that the judges don't have a set criteria. In this scenario, the judges come in and pick the winner out of the lineup. And you might say, well, duh. But it's kind of up in the air if the judges do this or not. I think to some extent, they both do this and have a set of loose guidelines they go by. However, if you go with the idea that the judges judge what's in front of them, then the other competitors in the lineup play a role in someone's placing. This gives me hope for Nick Walker because Samson is the odd man out and the common top four that a lot of people have, which would be Derek, Hottie, Nick, and Samson, in no real order. This could mean that the lineup sways the judging criteria to be based on qualities that Derek, Hottie, and Nick share, like muscularity and conditioning with shape slightly lagging behind, instead of taking the lead. I don't know how likely the scenario is, but it's certainly a possibility, and I think it gives Nick Walker a better chance. As of right now, however, I think all signs point to a Samson victory. Nick is the winner of the comparison today, but I do think he will repeat his Arnold placing with him ending up behind Samson. That's going to do it for me in this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this comparison because I think this one was a bit more subjective than others and I want to know what you think. This will probably be one of my last comparisons before the Olympia, but there will be plenty more to come on this channel. So if you guys like this one, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribing will keep you up to date on all my future videos and it'll notify you as to when I'm going live this weekend for my Olympia Watch Party live streams. I'll be going live all weekend long, so subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss me. With all of that said, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.